last German munition storage. Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Me and Eagle Eyes out. We are trying to find the past, specifically remnants and pieces of the German munition storage that was up in the hillsides here. Who knows what we can find? But join us, please watch our videos in full, subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave a comment if you like. Let's go out and find the path together. This is a beautiful area, forest, birds, absolutely anything you can imagine is here. Foxes, deers, I'm not sure whether we'll spot some of that today, but what a beautiful day. We can't wait to see if we can find things from the past here. I've got some photos I'm going to share with you first and you can have a look at and uh, then we'll bring out the metal detector and see if we can find small pieces of the activity here. This is your typical layout of uh, what you could see in the forests around Europe during the Second World War. The Germans would uh, install different kinds of structures. In this uh, occasion it's like um, uh, concrete small bunkers that had a reinforced uh, steel roof and they will be put along a road inside the forest or near a hillside or actually in parks whatever it took to hide them away so they can actually store things like uh, bombs or grenades or artillery shells or just plain MG or K98 munition. So what we are at is just basically what you see here. It's a road in the forest and there used to be different kind of cutouts where they put in the uh, bunkers, often sometimes actually munition barracks. So they will be placed with a quite a bit distance between them. So that if it was bombed, they didn't managed to bump all of it with just one or two of them. Sometimes there will be sandbanks or hills on the next to the uh, uh, bunkers to prevent the blast of going to the next one and the next one. So that's basically where we are. Beautiful place. So much fun to go out and share this with you. I'm so privileged to be able to do that. Massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You're the guys and girls who make this come true. So big thumbs up to you for that. That's a photo of one of the uh, munition storages. You see that supply road next to it. And uh, let me show you what's there today. That is basically it. The supply road is right here, right in there. That bunker used to be there. Heavy duty, first in wood and then in concrete. It was actually used after the war as well. So we're going to start off around here, see if there are anything at all. <laughs> Eagle Eyes was supposed to help me with the introduction here. He's off. He's just going bananas and so happy for that. Well, this is the tools for the day. Our macro multi-cruiser, fantastic, versatile, sturdy, waterproof, handy machine. You can take the control unit of the stanchion. It packs down incredibly lightweight and small. We have the knock the pointer, love that thing. I'm gonna adjust the gain, the loudspeaker on the back, very strong LED, and you have this beautiful tip you can exchange if it wears out, so that is pretty nice. Also, we have the small sniper coil to help us out to separate the small signals. We want everything, 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 even the smallest piece of metal here is interesting for us. We don't know what you can expect, there be anything coming up from the ground, but uh, we'll give it a go and do our best and uh, see what turns up. Another proof of the existence or activity of these. These are railroad ties. They're still here in the forest. Why? Well, they fortify the area with it. And those huge ties are actually still here, laying around with the huge sea clams, holding them together. They made makeshift kind of bunker storages and, uh, you know, fortified positions with them. And they're littered all over the forest here. Nice. This is actually very nice. Um, I'll make that a separate little assignment. I'll, I'll clean up really good and the next scene you'll see what it's for. And another one. That one actually gave off a signal of being iron but it's aluminum. But how cool. Yep. 
just in that little small area we found three of these and uh, they seem to be unrelated to munition storage or is it well what if i do this there it is let's see if i can get that down here it's easier for you to see see that there's a pin going through there that is actually one of those pins so what do we have then? Well, we have pins that belong to a S-mine detonator. So pins in the ground doesn't say you too much. You have to know the context. This is supplied by our fantastic Patreon supporter, Roy. He gave us this 3D printed S-mine. And I have this beautiful little um, detonator, original from the Second World War. It's harmless. So we have pins in the ground, we have the connection to the Second World War, we have the purpose of being a detonator. Voila! History served on a plate. <laughs> See here, more of the heavy duty plank railroad tie systems. It's everywhere. And they were using that in the beginning to fortify the positions and then they put up decent foxholes and all of that and just next to that railroad tire there's a 80 signal see if I can get yes that is actually a uh, I'm guessing an S mine detonator and I think that has got the pin in it wow it's not dangerous whatsoever but that is such a beautiful find the backlight cap is in there Wow. So right there, we actually found history. And do you want to join me in a little restoration project of this uh, mine detonator? Let's do just that. So, there it is. Doesn't look too nice right now, does it? Well, that's because we haven't cleaned it yet. But uh, what is it? Well, let me clean it. And after that, I'll show you. This is just a little solution of uh, water, uh, medium tempered water, like 35 degrees, something like that. Just gonna soak for a while. Then I'm gonna just start gently, gently to work with it. When it's been soaking for a while, I'll just start with a little nylon brush. Uh, all I want is to remove whatever is not supposed to be there. See, already we have some progress. There it is. And what is it? Well, it's the same as you see here. This is a um, beautiful little gift I got from Roy, one of my fantastic Patreon supporters. He 3D printed a uh, S-Mine. And this is a genuine uh, um, uh, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> this is a genuine detonator from an S-Mine. This is the one that we found. So you can see the prongs are missing. They're very rarely to be found. You can see the pin in through it. And here there is a marking. Uh, it is difficult to see, but it actually says 41, I think it's DBP or something. But that's what I like about this stuff. Going out, finding the munition storage area. This is very old. This is like brand new, something that is it's also marked with R561-1940. Beautiful example of what you can find when you go out, look for history. And I really, really did share it with you and I really enjoyed that. Wow, that was something, huh? That's what, I, kind of, that's what I'm talking about. You never know what you're gonna find and that thing is just beautiful. And look where we are, middle of the forest, nothing here today. Have a metal detector, some patience, some time, and boom, we create and we discover history together. That's the first one. Could that be the second one? Right there. It sounds very much alike, but it could also be something else. But let's do this together, see if we can just barely scrape the surface. Because if the prongs are there, then you don't want to break the prongs. They are very, very fragile. There we go take out some of the small small roots like that yeah it is definitely there oh there is something yeah I can see it I can see it wow 
Very careful. Let's see if we can find where it is exactly. It can easily be something else as well, but that is a round circular thing. Yeah. It's gonna go easy here on the end. The prongs are here. Let me see. Yeah, it's there. So let's do that. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's in not that good condition, but hey, beautiful check out there. Oh, I'm guessing it's separated. Let me see. Yeah, is that the prongs? That is actually the prongs. There's a tree of some very thin. Yeah, we, we're not going to mess with it here. We're going to wash it and clean it and you're going to be able to see what, they, what it is. But this one actually had the prongs attached, but they will break off so easily. Wow. Yeah, we got something going on here. I'm gonna check out that. Yes, that was cool. Wow, that is a Mouser K98 or a MG cartridge. Can you see it? Can I take it up to you. Here we are. Oh, and it is a live one. Wow, that is that is just beautiful. If we can get the tip to come up there, I'm gonna deactivate that. That's gonna be presented in one of the dioramas, hopefully. Wow, so there you are. One piece of the German munition from the Second World War with the Germans stored secret bombs and all kinds of things. Can't get any better than this. What? We moved to uh, this position here. You can see there is the munition storage building. Photographed, you know, when it was active. The road passing here. So we're just going to be around this area here and see if we can find anything at all. Oh yeah, there's something there. What is that? Oh, I do see what that is. Oh, crapper. Wow. Oh, that was too bad. You see this thing here? It's supposed to be completely together. It's actually the back lid of a carrying case for a huge artillery shell. Wow. So, there's the ring. I bent it, kind of fixed it a little bit. See that piece here? It is actually in brass, very, very heavy. And uh, what is it? Well, let me show you. See that thing there? That's the back lid of a carrying case for a huge artillery shell. And this is the ring. It used to be like that. But you can see that this brass ring, well, as I said, it's heavy. Very often, if you find this, they will be stripped of the brass ring, like this piece here. And why? Because they discarded that after the war. If they found them, they would discard the brass ring. They would actually reuse that, sell it. You know, it's heavy, got a good price of copper or brass. So when you find these, this is an unrestored thing. This one is going to be restored and it's actually going to be given away to one of my supporters. But that's one, and that's how it looks when it's kind of totally messed up right up from the ground. This one is kind of fixed. It was just a quick repair. I'm gonna do that even better later. <laughs> that was just to make a presentation of something. So this ring might look really uh, nothing when you find it, but then you put it into context, you will see that it is a brass ring for the back end of a carrying case for a huge artillery shell. This one is damaged, who knows why? Maybe it was bomb damage and it was discarded. But that's just pretty and uh, glad I could share that little detail with you. See that right there, all this black? 
brush stuff. That is actually a foxhole. Very often the logging people and workers, when they do cut down and work with the forest, they will fill the trenches and dugouts and foxholes with the debris of the cut downs. And in the end, it will actually be completely filled. But some of them you can actually still see here, even today. Oh. Definitely not <laughs> from the uh, World War II time frame. Meat fleisch salad. <laughs> Seems like we have a little, little thing right there. Can you see it? Is that the one? Ooh, that is something completely different. Wow, that is a fuse for, oh, I'll clean it up and let you see it. Wow, look at that. There's a cartridge spill. Some iron, some... Use, use, use the pinpointer, see if there's more. Yeah, definitely. There's a cartridge spill right here. That is interesting. Wow. We'll dig more. Look at that. That is very nice. They are definitely going back. There's a double one stuck together. We are gonna clean them. Some of them are in iron, they're not kind of uh, usable. Some in brass, and we can't wait to see what the dates are. Hopefully they will end up in some of our dioramas. Just perfect. So there they are. Um, have to rig up some special lighting here because I wanted to show you a little detail. They could be from the MG. Uh, I'm guessing they're from the Mauser, the K98. I'm gonna show you a picture of that. They could have been stacked in a magazine. So the ones to the right are iron. You can see they're terrible. The other ones are in brass, but they have a very, very special detail. Let me show you this. See if I can get you in there. They are all actually marked with the same number. They are marked with P490, 1940. Absolutely everyone is marked the same with the green backing. And it's so good to see how they held up during those years. So we have like nine pieces, all of them marked with the P490 in 1940. That is really special. Never found so many with the same markings out and in just about the same condition. So a little special find indeed. And they are going in some of my World War II dioramas that I'm going to give to you supporters. So look wow, out for them. I really enjoyed that position. That was just fantastic. Look at the beautiful small items we found. And as I said, they are going to be presented in my dorama and shadow boxes and given away to my supporters. So you can check out the giveaway videos in the beginning of each month. Just small details, but this munition storage area has actually more secrets. We found something pretty, pretty interesting there. So you might be able to see that in the near future. Other than that, please watch our videos in full. That's the best way you can support us. We do really hard work out there and we appreciate all the support coming in for us. And if you want to check out the possibility to become a patron and PayPal supporter, watch the giveaway videos in the beginning of each month. Other than that, thank you for subscribing, sharing, commenting, and to all my patron supporters already in there, couldn't have done it without you. You are the backbone of this, what you see. So thanks a lot for being there for us. Other than that, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you later.